What is going on, my peeps? It is Infection, and today I'm going to try to walk you through streaming without using a capture card for your PS4. So what you're going to need is your PC is going to have to be pretty close to your PS4, more than likely, and I'll kind of explain that in a second, um, and a PC and you're gonna have to download OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Software, and PS4 Remote Play. Now I know maybe some of you have seen a video in the past where it says, yeah, play on PS4 Remote Play, but there's input lag on it, and that is absolutely true. But this way that I'm about to tell you, there's gonna be zero input lag because it's gonna be amazing, I promise. So let's download OBS first, okay? So let's check this out, let's get OBS going. Boom, boom, download that, then install it. And I wanna need you to download PS4 Remote Play as well and install that. So once you have that going, let's see, let's open up PS4 Remote Play. Boomsies, checking for update. Okay, connect a DualShock 4 wireless controller. Uh, yep, let me do that real quick. Okay, that's definitely not the one. Okay, all right, so let me connect this and you have to set up your PS4 remote play But it just go through the steps. It's no big deal Press the options button on the controller to start boom perfect connect to the PS4 and Dunzo here's my screen Woo! Perfect, okay, so now that we have this Okay, so I actually paused the video right there because I need to explain real quick that I didn't do in the video as your PS4 Play is on your computer screen, it's going to have a little bit of input lag in it. But while your controller is still connected to your computer, it still moves everything on your on your PS4 screen. So you can literally sit there and play on your PS4 uh, and not have to disconnect it from the PC. Because if you disconnect it from the PC, then you have to X out a remote play, which is bad. So. I was also going to say, you might try this, I haven't tried it, but you can leave that remote connected on like your alternate account, for example, but then connect another controller and connect to your real account, and that's wireless, and you can step away from the PC, and that might work too, but there's no input lag on your actual PS4 monitor, so I just want to clear that up real quick before y'all keep going in this tutorial. Let's go into OBS. Okay, so we have OBS here, and whenever you download OBS and it's fresh, you're not going to have anything. Your profile is not going to have anything. So the first thing to do is go to profile, and I can't because I'm recording. So you're going to click profile, new profile, I think is what it is, and then just type in your name. So once you do that, come down here to scenes. And scene is, like, I have several different scenes for this. I have... Uh, different scenes for different games and what I'm doing, what I'm recording, what I'm streaming, so on and so forth. But within each scene, you have sources. So your scene is this window right here. It's this whole window. This is your stream slash record window. And their sources are for this right now. You can see it's my monitor. So if I shut this off, you're not going to see anything. So my monitor, that's your webcam, your overlays, your Twitch alerts, your Twitch labels your game capture if you're using an Elgato, but for this video we're not. Um, anything, your PUBG window, your Overwatch window on PC if you're doing that. Your sources are everything coming into that stream window, the 1920 by 1080 window, right? That you want displayed in your stream slash recording. So on yours, you're not gonna have this monitor here. It's just gonna be a black screen like this. But to show you, I have to have this on. So first thing we're gonna do Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna make your scene. So make your scene. Just you're gonna go down here and hit add, and then you'll add the scene. Okay, for all intents and purposes, right now I have to stay on PC and keep this monitor on. But your sources are not gonna have anything on there. So what you're gonna do is go down to add, and as you can see, there's all types of sources captures in here. But we're gonna go to window capture, and we're gonna make this PS4. Bugs me. Um, remote play window. So we're gonna go to OK. As you can see, 
this little thing popped up and this is on the remote play streaming toolbar and we don't want the toolbar we want to go down to ps4 remote play and there it is perfect so hit ok so now uh, let's see so I'll just keep this up here this is kind of hard because I want y'all to be able to see every single thing I'm doing okay so here's your window so how to expand it you're literally just gonna take it to the top left drag it all the way down and now you should just be seeing my uh, remote play and we're gonna change that oh no okay so you should just be seeing my remote play Okay, and now I'm going to downsize it a little bit just so y'all can see everything that's on my screen. But as you can see, you can change this. And uh, all I have to do to change this is to go into the window, click on the PS4 remote play screen, and then drag it out. Oh no, oh no, rip the dream. Oh, and drag it out until it's full screen. And there you go. And that's your screen window. And you should only be seeing my PS4 screen right now. But I'm gonna downsize that so y'all can see everything else that I'm doing. Okay, perfect. So now, if you wanna add a webcam, you just hit add, go to video capture device, type in webcam if you'd like, hit okay, and your webcam will pop up right here. Now, mine is already active on a bunch of other things, so it's, it's, it's not gonna show up on here. But as you can see, I'm going to switch to PS4 screen right here, and I'll activate my webcam. As you can see, it's black. I'm going to move it around a little bit, see. As you can see, it's black, but uh, I have a little headband over it right now because I don't want it to turn on and actually record something or anything like that because I'm paranoid like that. But, uh, yeah, there is a little thing over it. As you can see, the color and everything is moving, so it is on. But you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever, move it around, put it right in the middle of the screen because you got a sexy face or something. I don't know. But you can move it and perfect mind's right there, so that's where I like it. But back to PC. So that is how you add that. Now we're going to go over some settings, okay? And these are super basic settings. These are just to get you started. So, yeah, I'm a goober, and when I went to record it, I had my PS4 remote play window just all over the settings. So I'm going to show you now on settings. Um, we're gonna go through here and I change my theme to dark because the light is just way too hard on my eyes and I did not like it very much and just go down to snap sensitivity you want to turn this down I think it's on 10 I change mine to 3 just because it feels too like it'll snap to the edge way too far from the edge and if you want something close to the edge but not on the edge of the frame then you're pretty much done for because it's going to snap hard but then go to stream and we'll pick your streaming service i use twitch so i choose twitch um, and then you're going to find your stream key which all you need to do to get your stream key is to go on the internet go to google type in how to find twitch stream key or locate twitch stream key and just follow those directions and you will get there real quick no big deal uh, for the server I chose Dallas because I live closest to Dallas out of all these so I was probably gonna auto Dallas anyways but I went ahead and chose Dallas anyways uh, for output for the streaming you are gonna have it on audio track one uh, I changed my bit rate to 1800 because my internet is not perfect it's not great right now it's just now eh, kinda okay so I changed it from 2500 to 1800 you're still getting uh, 720p uh, with this so it's pretty good still so I left it as that and that way you don't drop any frames and still a smooth stream um, on audio if you have a mic that's plugged into your computer that you want to use then go ahead and put in this mic right here and select whatever mic it is I have my blue Yeti microphone shout out to blue because they're great and I love this freaking mic but no, I'm not getting paid for this, obviously, I'm small time. But this this uh, is where you're gonna plug in your mic and your other two audio devices are probably gonna just leave it on disabled unless you already know about what you're doing and you change it. But otherwise, if you just have one mic, just put it on here, just ignore this on mine, just go ahead and put it on disabled and just leave these this on default and this on disabled. 
for desktop audio device too, just disable that and that on default if I wasn't clear just a second ago. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully I made this clear. This is my first tutorial with something like this, but I, I didn't really see a video that I felt like explained it well enough or did it justice, I guess. So I, you know, I know a couple people that maybe needed this that don't have capture cards, but that would still love to stream on their PS4. So I thought I would go ahead and do this so that you can do it too. And you can make your dreams come alive or whatever you'd like to do, even if it's just to show your friends or whatever, who cares? But now you have the knowledge and the power to do it. So that's awesome. And I hope you have a blast doing it. But if y'all uh, want any more tutorials on how I do th my things or my recordings or my settings, just also just let me know. Shoot me a DM on Twitter or a message at me on Twitter or send me a, you know, sh put it in the comments. Just reach out to me and ask me and I'd love to. Or just reach out to me on PSN. Send me a message on PSN and I'll, uh, and I'll try to get to it. But guys, I appreciate, again, I appreciate all y'all's support. I'm coming back into this, so... Uh, I really appreciate it, and if y'all want to show me support, the best way to do it is just to tell your friends about me, um, tell people about me, and uh, get get the word out there that I'm that I make videos, that my videos suck, that they're great, that I stream, that my stream sucks. You can come make fun of me in chat, or that it's good. Who you know who 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 knows? I have a good soundtrack on Spotify, whatever. Um, but yeah, this the more you throw my name out there, the the more time that I can put into this because my channel will grow and I can make it way more of a priority. So guys, again, I know I rambled a little bit there, but I appreciate it. And if you like this video, then let me know. Share that with me. Tell me in the comments. You don't actually have to like the video if you don't want. Just let me know in the comments. Or if I can improve anything with this tutorial, let me know in the comments as well. And uh, if you're new to the channel and like this, then hit me with that sweet subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And uh, guys, don't forget to keep it classy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping.